Hey everyone, and welcome back to WhoWantsToCook.com, where cooking is everything. This is your host, Chef Escobar, and today's episode is... Fly Loaded Balls. <laughs> um, yeah, no comment. But we are doing mozzarella cheese stuffed meatballs. And remember folks, all the ingredients are listed on the website. Now, let's get started. First, we're going to grab our ground beef. We're going to grab our sweet sausage, and we're going to grab a spicy sausage. Now, remember, with these recipes, you can mix and match it with any other kinds of meats you want. This is just my preference for my taste. So, you're going to dig on in and just, you know, get that stuff all mushed in together. Once you're finishing mixing your meats together, now it's time to add our seasoning. For my seasoning, I used a variation of different spices and herbs. Again, they are listed on the website, but again, you do not have to follow it to the T. You can basically season this any way you prefer to. Next on the list, as you can obviously see, we're going to add green pepper. For the green peppers, you can slice them very, very thin. You can keep them in big chunks. Again, it's your choice. Next, we're going to add our fresh parsley, diced stuffed thin. And followed by the parsley, we're going to add one egg. All right, you know what time it is, folks. It's time to get the mixing. Cue the music. Once you're done mixing your meat together very well, you're going to add our final ingredient, the breadcrumbs. I personally like to use panko for everything, but you can use any breadcrumbs you like. All right, and back to mixing we go. Now that we're all cleaned up, next on our list of things to do is to actually form the balls. So you're just going to use a regular spoon, scoop it out, and then form it. As you can see up close, this is a ball of flavor. Check that out. Next, you're going to take your mozzarella cheese and break them down into small cubes. All right, so you're going to take your meatballs, you're going to put them to the side, you're going to grab your cheese, you're going to put them to the other side. You're going to grab one cube, you're going to grab one meatball, and this is where the magic begins. See? Simple. Stuff it right in the middle, and then just form the meat right around it. The only thing you have to make sure that you do right here is just make sure that the cheese is fully covered. Reshape the meatball, and you're good to go. And voila. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen. My loaded balls. <laughs> <sighs> Again, please don't ask. All right, after you put those bad boys in the oven for about 25 minutes on 400, this is how they should look. All right, we are almost at that finish line, people. Now, all we have to do is flip all of these over so that it's cooked on both sides evenly. And yes, I am burning the hell out of my fingers doing this without a spoon. Now, once you flip all of them over, you're going to throw them back in the oven on 400 for 25 more minutes. And when you pull them out the oven, they should come out like this. Every single bite will be completely moist, packed with flavor, and of course, delicious. You can use these in pastas, sandwiches, or even as an appetizer. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my... Loaded balls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll stop now. But thank you so much for checking out WhoWantsToCook.com, where cooking is everything. Again, this is your host, Chef Escobar, and we'll catch you next time.